Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Greta if you're new here and I'm super excited to have you. It is summer, we're having fun, we're outside, we're getting sun, we're more active and we're going out and maybe we're on vacation. So I wanted to do some fragrances for sexy summer nights. We all have our freshies that we go for in the daytime, but let's be honest, we all still want a little bit of oomph, right? We like those like, yes, I'm feeling this fragrance or a fragrance that just kind of finishes you off and makes you feel more put together when you spray it, where it can be like, it's like accessorizing an outfit that can be plain. Once you add accessories and perfume, you all of a sudden just feel a little elevated, right? So these are some of my sexy summer night scents. And some of them I pulled out that I haven't worn in a while because obviously I have a lot to choose from. But these are the ones that I've been feeling and they're all a little bit of a different mood because I'm like that. I'm always in a different mood. So I'm gonna tell you all about these. Okay, the first one um, was the one I felt really compelled to wear, pretty much because I'm wearing this orange dress. You can't tell, but it's like a, it's a tube top dress. And I thought, okay, this is the one I'm feeling. And honestly, it makes sense since it is Oud Orange Intense in their color series meant to evoke the color orange. So the fact that I felt like this one really spoke to me just really makes sense. I also contemplated Oud Juan Intense, Oud Yellow, because it has those tropical florals and I thought there's something cool about summer in there. But this one was just pulling me more and I know it had to do with me wearing orange. Oud Orange Intense by Fragrance Dubois is still one of my favorites. The fact that I've been able to milk this tiny little bottle, they don't even sell this tiny size anymore. I think it's only like maybe 50 and 100 ml and this is like 30 ml like one ounce, they don't sell this anymore because it's kind of pricey. But it's rich and it's powerful and I love this one. It's this really deep, rich, boozy vanilla with orange and some oud that really gives it power without being this like wintry kind of oud fragrance. It also has this coconut kind of hue to it. So to me, it's this like deep, rich, boozy vanilla with coconut and a little bit of fruitiness to it to give it that orange kind of image with almost like a touch of powderiness to it. It is so good. If you've never tried it, you really need to try this one. It's just one that you have to try if you don't own it, honestly. But Fragrance Du Bois, a house I absolutely love. They do woods like no other. I have so many favorites from this house. So Oud Orange Intense. Then there's the one that I actually am wearing. I actually switched to this before I sprayed. And it is by Salus Parfums. This is the Salus Art. You can see it has this gorgeous flame. This is, let's see if I put my hand here. It's like black and white with gold speckles here. Or actually just black and gold. Black and gold with clear glass here. It is so stunning. You can get it with this cap, which has the ball plus the little mount for the glass art, or you can get just the ball. And these are in my store, but this one is called Crepuscola Scintillante, which I think means scintillating twilight. So like sparkly twilight kind of, which makes sense with this like, very like New Year's Eve kind of look to it with the black and the sparkling. But it's really, if you're into more oriental style fragrance, this one is a little more on the drier side. So you definitely can wear this in the heat and it does not go cloying, but it has a more sophisticated, sexy, oriental kind of spices. I compared it actually because it occurred to me where I was trying to think of how to describe this. And if you know the spices that are in Zerge up ivory root. It's almost like if you took that obvious vanilla out of ivory root, which this is a vanilla with some spices. So it also makes it a little drier. It has 
saffron in here too, which gives it a little bit of a like dry spice feel. Also a little bit of a leathery kind of feel, even though I really don't get leather in here. Probably like some cardamom in here. Yeah, so there's saffron, cardamom, and nutmeg according to the listed notes, which I can see that it gives that like dry spice, sexy kind of feel to it. Definitely boom shakalaka kind of night. It just gives a really polished, elegant kind of feel, like definitely elevates you. This one just makes you feel empowered. That's the word. Empowered is how I feel. Now this one is definitely good for men and women also because these spices in here just go phenomenally either way, kind of like in a Tom Ford kind of way. If I had to like cross between a Tom Ford and Ivory Root. I guess is the way, but I really like this. I just have to read it in order to say the name or I can't do it. Crepuscola Cintilante. Love this. Um, I have these bottles in my store. They're actually in reach from Italy. Finally, a giant palette. I have like a few brands all coming together. And finally, and let's see when this airs, it's it's still a few more days. I'm so sorry. It's taking way longer than I anticipated. I would not have put the pre-order up yet had I known that they were moving their warehouse and one of the shipments I was waiting to kind of consolidate everything from Italy. Had I known I, I about that hiccup, I would have, I definitely wouldn't have put the pre-order up yet, but it is what it is. It's done and now they're on their way from Italy. So finally, so maybe like another week or so. Um, but yes, the Salas is in my store. Switching speeds to more of like, and you can see how these fragrances might change, like how the outfit I'm wearing even will give a different Im image. Now, if I want to go with a more kitten kind of feel, like a little sex kitten, I'm going to go with Ubogon Mon Baudoir, my Baudoir. Um, Oh, I love this one. I tried this in Milan and I can't believe I haven't talked about it because I was obsessed with this and had to have this when I finally tried it. This one, um, if you like Raja Britannia, which is now discontinued, the way there's this soft cocoa powder in here, right? Like it makes your skin just like there's It just gives your skin the most edible kind of feel to it. Like there's dissolving sugar, like dissolving powder on your skin that like if you lick it, it'll dissolve into sugar on your tongue. Like this cocoa powder kind of feel. It is phenomenal. It totally gives sex kitten vibes. I just got to say that. Even though it's one of the most classy and elegant brands out there, there's something about it that just evokes princess to me and just, I love Mon Baudoir. This is stunning. You've got to try this one. Oh, I don't even know what the notes are. Okay, it doesn't even list cocoa or chocolate, but the overall vibe of this powdery vanilla amber gives a cocoa powder that could just dissolve into edible, like it's edible dust on your skin. I'm telling you, that's the overall vibe of like the 25 notes that they have listed there, which is like an obscene amount, but that's what it gives. And it is so good. I might just put the notes on the screen again, because I tend to just give you more of the big picture than going through each of the notes. I used to, but I'd really rather give you that overall vibe because honestly, anyone can read the notes. What you want to know is how does that translate, right? What does it end up smelling like? The next one, somewhat similar kind of vibe. And I think again, sex kitten, like expensive sex kitten vibes is by Byron Mula Mula. This is the old packaging. The new packaging is like this. However, these are 75 ml and I was able to get 100 ml in the old packaging. So I'm okay with this. Mula Mula is another powdery one. This one is an expensive powdery kind of smell, um, sweet powder kind of smell, a warm, sweet powder, um, more of like a fruity powder versus a like cosmetics or baby or like Johnson and Johnson baby powder kind of smell. Definitely a little bit 
of that sweet caramel kind of feel to it, but does have that like vanilla, woody, amber, powdery kind of feel in common with the Mon Baudoir. But this goes more fruity. This definitely has like a fruit and caramel kind of aspect to it, which that does not. That keeps it more clean and elegant, the Mon Baudoir, where this goes, um, I'm going to say like strawberries and peach and caramel, raspberry. So definitely this like really fun, fruity caramel. If you like La Capitale, but you also like powdery fragrances, La Capitale has that leather in there. So if that's something that just maybe doesn't always jive and you'd rather have powder in there, this is again those similar fruits with the caramel and this really powdery kind of sex kitten kind of vibe. I like this one, Mula Mula, and I've been decanting this and it's um getting in the air and then it just compels me to wear it because I forget how stinking good this one is. Really good, Mula Mula, <laughs> Mula Mula. And one for the guys, I'm gonna try to remember you guys a little more often. I do so many fragrances in niche that are just so unisex, I forget sometimes to point out some that are just truly masculine to me, which a classic to me, especially in the summer, is there Jeff Neo. I know there's the like, are you team Neo or team Naxos? I think to me, Naxos is more fall, winter. Neo is more um, spring, summer, and daytime. It's your classic citrus with a little bit of aromatic to it. It's so good. It's so clean. It's so fresh. It's so invigorating. And Neo has a little bit of a woody base that just kind of gives it that longevity where this has better longevity than you might expect, but it's uh, really good. I like this citrus aromatic woody kind of fragrance. It's just, it's a sharp, clean man that I absolutely love. And it's a total classic that you have to try Neo. If you've never tried it or if you don't own it, you really need to at least try Neo. Maybe it's for you, maybe it's not, maybe it's redundant to what you have. But I just think it is such a staple to any man's collection or has something similar to it. But Neo. Now, the next one is a little bit more, I'm going to say demure, perhaps might be the word. A little bit of demure, flirty kind of fragrance. And it's by Benina, which is a house that has completely knocked my socks off this year. Um, I did try them two years ago and like never really dove in and just tested some. One of those instances where I just circled back because they had a new collection and it prompted me to go back to them. And I was just like, yes, I'm, I'm so in love with this house. This is such a good house. And Royal Bouquet, I do find this one a little more feminine. I do think they have stunning fragrances, all of them. And for the men, I have a bunch that I really love too. Most of them, I think, are pretty darn unisex. This one is a little more feminine. It is more of a fruity, floral, powdery, vanilla. But this one rides a little closer than some of the others in the collection. Personally, my favorite, I just can't rip away from it, is Greatness. It has like the most amazing sillage that even like makes my own knees buckle. I'm just in like awe to it. Royal Bouquet is not that where you're like struck by the throat with this incredible sillage. This one's more demure than that, but it's there. It's more delicate. It's making you come in for that snuggle, come in for that hug or kiss to be able to like nibble it all up. It's great for closer encounters where they're going to be close, right? They're not they're not six feet away from you where you need that sillage. Um, Royal Bouquet is a really pretty fragrance. And they all have really good longevity too, which I like. And you can still use the code Greta10 over at Benina and save 10%. They're right in Miami, which is kind of nice also that they are a USA brand, but they send international. They ship it anywhere, but it is nice that they're in the US. I contemplated carrying them in my store, but they're right in Miami, so I don't know. I have the decants because she doesn't have samples. She has she has these little 15 mLs, which are really reasonably priced. I think 75 or 85 dollars. And then they're a 
exact mini replica of the larger set, which is amazing. I had, um, I, when I did a review on these, I had a set of these minis where the atomizers were a little sticky. Um, she said that was actually not how it was supposed to be, that it was a little faulty because they sent me the wrong set. They sent me a faulty set. So they had one they had pulled aside and it got shipped to me by accident. So actually they're very smooth atomizers on the little ones here. They all have this undertone where the vanillas she uses is like a nutty kind of vanilla. I personally love it. I go crazy for it. I just think it's insane. So, but Benina Royal Bouquet is another one. It's a little like sex kitten night. For the men, I'm going to say go for ancient wood for more demure and for a more robust. I just, I love worthiness. I think it's phenomenal. It is like a buttery kind of Look, I'm going to end up talking about Whole House of Benina here in a second. I really do love them. But for the more demure summer, go with Ancient ancient Wood. That's another great pick. And the other demure one is Royal Bouquet. We'll stick to that. I'll, I, I love that house. Okay, next up is one that I am totally obsessed with on Beautiful Days. Something about it, and yes, total sex kitten vibes, is Ducita Anamkara. I just, I love this one. To me, this is crazy because it's not what the notes say, but to me and on my skin, this one starts like a great Jolly Rancher. I know that sounds crazy, but in a very elegant way, not in like a cheap candy way. It just evokes this incredible, the peach turns great to me and it stays like that for a good while, which I love. Oh. They do fruity florals like no other. Like what she does for florals, like I'm not a big floral kind of person. I don't like plain florals. But what Ducita does is just magic. How she just makes them like you're in this magical fairy tale land and everything is made of sugar. Like I love it. I'm a sugar addict. So, but Ducita, I was wearing this earlier. Ah. Oh. I didn't want to shower it off. I really was enjoying it so much. It again gives that powdered sugar kind of feel in a very delicate way, not your like overt powdered sugar, but it's like Jolly Ranchers where you have this sugariness and then the florals come out too. It's this blend of white florals. They're blended so beautifully. It's hard to pick out what floral it is. It's this gorgeous, fluffy, beautiful, delicate, almost ethereal kind of florals with the peach in there and a little bit of it comes off grape to me but it's peach the grape turns into peach it opens grape and then I think it's like 20-30 minutes later it ends up being peach and florals and vanilla and a little bit of fluffiness to it it's really pretty I'm addicted to this one it's phenomenal Anamkara by Dusita. Okay, so when you're feeling a little more sassy and a little feisty, maybe, then I'm going to say go for Mikalev Glamour. I like this collection. Now, I came late to this collection. When this whole collection and these cages first came out, I somehow had received samples of all the masculine ones, and I thought, yeah, none of them are for me. They're, they're not for me. They're very masculine. And it was just a fluke because I just got the wrong ones. I really like Glamour and Spiritual, really like them, and it's hard for me to pick which I like more. I think, honestly, either of them. There is that, like, piercing cotton candy note in the Spiritual that I really like, but Glamour has something fun and sophisticated at the same time about it that I really like. There's something more sassy while also being tempered, if that makes sense. There's a certain undercurrent in this fragrance that keeps it very steady, very like rock steady, kind of like a woody, leathery kind of base to it, while you also have these really nice fruities, like I think like a green apple on the top. But there's something very rounded about this that I appreciate and I like and I love, and it just gives a very polished kind of feel to it. 
yeah, there's like spices in here that are really well blended. They, there's also saffron, cinnamon, and nutmeg in here. However, it is not as spicy as this. This is more of that oriental spicy. Where this is more, yeah, this one is more about the jasmine to me. It's definitely got more of the jasmine. Um, is this the one that people compare to Alien? I personally can't stand Alien. Like, I hate Alien. And this gets compared to a lot of Alien fragrances. I can't do Moogler fragrances. They just give me an instant migraine. I don't know what it is that they do. It's the only brand that is an instant migraine for me if I just get near one of those fragrances. I'm not sensitive to fragrances like that. However, that one will set me back huge. And I don't, so I personally don't get that. This to me is a lot cleaner and it is a lot more refined smelling, but it is a, it is a jasmine similar that alien is about jasmine so you do have that but there's also this like vanilla and sandalwood and musky kind of feeling that i really like there's still a little bit of that like jasmine freshness to it but glamour is the one that i like and i prefer um bonita has a has a jasmine fragrance too splendor grandeur if you're into those like vibrant kind of jasmines another great one Circling back to a favorite of mine for a few years now, this is an older fragrance, like 2017, but I still love this one, and it's by House of Siage, Whispers of Enlightenment. See, it's the orange again. See, it's like, it's the orange. I think it's the orange kind of color I'm wearing, having me grab these orange fragrances, but Whispers of Enlightenment, if you like, it's a lot of people have tried and love uh, Out Bijou. If you like Alpajou, I think you're gonna like Enlightenment. It's again, a fruity floral in here. To me, it's a lot of like peach and caramel with this like woody vanilla base to it. Again, with the peach and the caramel, um, like Mula Mula and La Capitale. If you like them with a little bit of peach, a little more prominent peach here, Whereas that's about the caramel a lot with this fruitiness. This is more this peach and jasmine. And then you have this caramel kind of coming through from underneath, not on top, if that makes sense. Like sometimes you feel like a coat of caramel coming down. This is a little bit more like caramel from underneath sweetening up from the base. Because it really does keep a more vibrant peach jasmine kind of vibe about it. I really love Whispers of Enlightenment. If you never tried it, you should. It is one that will go on sale regularly because it is not one of their newer fragrances. Um, I, I, I just love this one. I always have. Okay, I'm gonna pick one more Boom Shakalaka fragrance. And I think this one is unisex also for the men. Um, I should pick some more men's for this video, but I don't want it to go too long. A Boom Shakalaka that I do not have the full bottle of. However, I still have um, I had a decant of this, and then I got a decant from Lux SB, so I do have quite a bit of juice still on this. Um, they gave this, this was like two months ago, I think I got it, but I have the other atomizer also. Um, <sighs> Blue Heart by Timing. I absolutely love this one, and I think it is totally boom shakalaka. This one is like coconut vanilla. Let me spray you. Okay, so it's a coconut vanilla amber, but it is not remotely like Hufflepuff as a coconut vanilla. This is like a sugared coconut vanilla. This is more like an amber coconut vanilla with a little bit of saffron in there, giving it an almost oriental-ish kind of vibe to it because there's this certain like richness and complexity to it while also having that coconut that sticks its head out proud for you. There is this dryness about it though, which is why I think you can wear it year round because it doesn't get cloying with that dryness. It can be heavy and dry. This one is so stinking good. Um, it's a more woody vanilla with the coconut in here. It's so good, Blue Heart. I will have a bottle of this, but I can't justify it until I finish this. That is my rule because two months can pass by and that's two budgets that I didn't have to pay for it. So I try to use these first. 
but yeah, Blue Heart is really good. And that is another Boom Shakalaka fragrance for date night. Totally. So what is your date night fragrance in the summer? Like sizzling heat kind of, sizzling sexy kind of night. What is your fragrance that you pull? And men, I want to know what you're pulling for too. Because, you know, I'll always answer you and I'll give you my two cents. Because I didn't really add that many for men here. So tell me what yours are. Um, I look forward to hearing what your sexy, whether it's sex kitten or boom shakalaka summer night scent is. Let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.